Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining my second talk I've done so far. And it's called Unleash Your Inner Artist, Taping the Power of Creativity. Uh, can you hear me back there? Is it OK? Perfect. Thank you. Uh, my name is Andrea Fitzkova. My friends and colleagues call me usually Angie. I work as an agile <laughs> practitioner at Red Hat, and I'm located here in Brno, Czech Republic. I'm also well known for being a creative soul, and I would like to introduce you part of it today. So I want to show you some creative activities you can do. I want to show you why creativity is important, what impact does it have, uh, when you can be creative, when to use it, and I will show you specific activities for that. And the activities can be done whether on paper or on a virtual board. So with creativity, uh, you can make your brain work better and you can be better at problem solving and it, create, it makes you to do new ideas. The second Im uh, impact, positive impact it has, that you can spend some time with yourself and explore yourself and uh, bring your feelings, for example, on the paper when you are painting. It definitely reduces stress and some depression and anxiety because it is relaxing. It is also a nice team activity because it makes you feel that you belong together in your team. You can enhance trust, you can enhance psychological safety, and last but not least, your work can become effective. And you might be asking, why is that so? It is because when you have psychological safety in your team, and let's say that you messed up something, you are not afraid to say, hey, Seven, can you help me? Like, I'm stuck with this, or you can ask for help, you're not afraid to ask for help, for example. So that's why your work will be more efficient, because you will work on it, you won't stuck. And when you can do activities, which I will show you right after this slide, is when you, for example, have some meeting, like retrospective usually, it's very nice icebreaker and very nice warm up. And these kind of icebreakers help your team to produce more ideas. And for example, on retrospectives, it is really important to produce some ideas and insights. However, you can also use it for your team building activities. For example, when you do some virtual team buildings or activities. Let's take a look on paper activities. So the first one is squiggle birds. Uh, the point here is really simple, you will do some kind of squiggle. Uh, you can imagine that you are three years old and you are trying to uh, duplicate your parents' signature. So we'll do anything, right? And you are trying to find there a bird, so you will finish the drawing with some bird parts like head and tail, etc. Is there any volunteer who would like to finish this drawing here, or slash uh, squiggle? Go for it, RJ! <laughs> Please use red color. Okay. Hmm. Where do you see We're a bird in this? Well, I see <laughs> the tail is here. Is that is everyone else kind of feeling that's a tail? Yes. Yeah. And so maybe that's a goose. And this is oh, it's little the legs are here. And this is this big beautiful eye. And oh, we gotta have a beak, right? I think this one has a bill. Yeah. What do we think? Can we do it? Nail it? Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can get even more creative. So this is another example of a squiggle. And it can look like this as well. So just take your crayons, pencils, markers, whatever, and make it more colorful. And so you trust me, here are two layers over each other so you can see. Uh, that it's like that. Uh, by the way, I painted this bird just yesterday when I was working on this presentation because I was just over it. So I was like, oh, I will calm down myself down by some painting. 
next activities, activity is called circles or sometimes 30 circles. The point of this is to uh, paint uh, or draw few circles and inside of it you want to paint something that um, that looks like a circle or it has round shape. For example, a ball or a face uh, or I draw a flower because it reminds me when you are looking at the flower in the pot from the bird's perspective. The presentation is like about birds only here. <laughs> uh, you can also draw when you do not see anything and the activity is called blind portrait. So you just whether look somewhere else than on your paper or just close your eyes. I will show you. So I will draw a face. So uh, this should be a head. <laughs> I will try to do eyes, pupils. I will try a hair, OK? <laughs> and now I have to do mouth, mm, plus minus here. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? It looks perfect. <laughs> So that's how you can have fun also painting without seeing anything. Uh, when you do these activities with your team, you can do some, create some shared folder, take a picture of what you created, and make a gallery of it. Uh, all of these activities is possible to do on virtual boards. I will show you uh, right after this. So virtual boards you can use uh, are Miro board or mural or auto draw <laughs> or quick draw. <laughs> so uh, mirror and mural, they are really similar. You can find there some playful um, templates which you can use as icebreakers with your team. Uh, auto draw, I would say it's kind of, art it's using artificial intelligence. So when you draw something like maybe that, <laughs> it will show you the closest picture to this. So for example, some face or it could be egg or heart or whatever you want. And quick draw, do you know quick draw one day? It, it has been famous quite a few, few years ago. So it is an uh, application by Google where you are trying to draw something that it tells you. But I will show it to you on a slide later. First activity you can do in MyRobot is uh, mix and match. Here you are trying to create a character. And it's up to you whether you want to do your character or your colleague's character or some completely different one. You have some possibilities here, so you can choose some body, some head, face, facial hair, etc., to create the character as close as possible to reality. So my colleague tried to create me. So she used that body, she used this head, and this face. <laughs> you might think it does not look like me, but uh, my robot offers some markers, stickers, etc. So she added me some cool features. So she finished it like that. And if you still do not think it looked like me, <laughs> I hope <laughs> it looks like me. Uh, another type of activities are decorative at activities. In general, you just need some outline of any object, whether a car or Christmas tree or anything, and you want to paint it, right? So you can use any markers, uh, any tool, uh, whether auto draw or mural. Uh, as an example, I chose a Christmas tree. So I found for my team just plain Christmas tree, and I prepared for them uh, multiple decorations, like Christmas balls. You can see their gingerbread, stars, etc. And some second idea is the topic is like Christmas, uh, Easter. So I just had like outline of an egg, and they were able to decorate it. And so the result is that my uh, colleague Nicole she decorated Christmas tree like this and we painted Easter eggs like that. So you see there are used some stickers, some paintings, uh, emojis, etc. And now let's take a look on quick draw. So in quick draw, your task is to uh, paint something, something or uh, some situation under 20 seconds. So for example, a beach. And that's what I created. 
However, it uses also some artificial intelligence. So when you start to draw, it is guessing. Is it an arm? Is it a building? Is it a house? And then it's like, I guess it. It's a beach. And this might be also quite fun because you are drawing with a mouse. And so if I could do a conclusion, uh, by doing some creative activities, you are definitely supporting your well-being, well-being in your team. If you do not think you are creative, you are. You just need some kickoff, like a little squiggle, and then you can finish bird, you can paint it, you can do anything. Same with the circles or blind portraits. We could maybe paint it, I don't know how it would look like. Um, so it's easy and don't be afraid to do it. Any questions? Yes? So the question is, I will repeat it for a stream. So how uh, often I do these activities in my teams? Um, so we have quarterly team building, so usually there. Uh, quarterly, when we have some retrospective, like also quarterly, I do it. <laughs> You can have it twice a quarter, yes. <laughs> or I did it, we have bi-weekly meeting, and I usually do some check-in. Usually it is some question. Once I used squiggle birds, so I let them to draw squiggle birds. They did it in less than five minutes, I believe. We shared it, and that was it. Thank you as well. RJ. So question is if I have recommendation for team where you have person who, who does not want to be creative. I think I have only one, but to keep environment safe, I don't want to push anyone. And like I got 99% of people doing like some activity. So I think it works well. Any other question? We have three minutes, use that time. Oh my god. I like mix and match. I like it. You can get really creative there. Like me personally, when I do uh, some character, I always paint like hair and stuff. So I'm like a little child, <laughs> but it's my favorite one. Do you have any of your mirror boards that you could show the group? Because they're quite artistic. If I have what? Any of your mirror board presentations that you've done? Mirror board presentation? Oh. I don't think I have something handy right now because. I have billions tabs opened. <laughs> we would be there for quite a long time. But if someone would like to see some of my <laughs> presentations, you can contact me. <laughs> Any other question or comment? Oh. Do you notice a difference in the teams and how they act outside before and after doing an activity? I think sometimes the mood gets like better, like on a high note. Uh, and I'll repeat the question. So if I notice some difference, uh, like before and after doing uh, some activity. So the mood gets definitely a little bit like better. But they always do activities, so I can't even say how it is without. <laughs> Folks, once I also did creativity, uh, which was about painting the nails, because the nails are my big hobby. And each developer painted nails in mirror board. I only had like outline, I, they really did it. And I was not hoping for that. I thought they will say like, you are crazy, we're not doing that. I was expecting like one painted nail, but everyone was painting that. So I think like inside every one of us is a kid and we want to paint something and it works. We have last minute. Any other question? No, too sensitive, Alison, too sensitive. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> so folks, tell me, which activity would you like to try? Anyone? Swiggle words. RJ, is this your chicken? One of the, is this one of your chickens? Uh, it does look a little like one of the ducks, not one of the chickens. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. <laughs> what other activity is your favorite from this? Mm 
-hmm, could be. No rules in creativity, folks. Go beyond. And we are out of time, folks. Thank you very much for joining me today.